Hi there. Now for this question, just to remind you, we were given this table here, which gave you the time in T minutes to the nearest minute recorded for a group of students to complete an exam. And in this part, part B, we're asked to use linear interpolation to estimate the value of the median for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, you can fast forward if you want just to check out the final answer. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through the method. So I often find that uh, there's many ways that you can approach this type of problem. But the way I prefer is just by drawing a class interval that the median's going to lie in. and. If we total up our number of students, it comes to a total of 200. And because we're dealing with continuous data here, we don't have to add one to this and then divide by two to find the position of the median. You just simply divide by two. So the position of the median, let's just put it down here, the position of the median, okay, the median, remember it's called uh, Q2 quite often, all right? So we've got the position of the median, we'll put Q2 there, okay? It's going to equal 200 divided by 2, which means it's the hundredth value. And that means we've got to find out which class interval that hundredth value is going to be in. Well, Clearly, it's going to be in this second class interval. 62 values here, 62 students, if you like, then took below 20.5 minutes to complete the exam. Whereas 62 plus 88 gives us a total of 150. So clearly, the hundredth student is going to be somewhere in that class interval going from 20.5 okay so we put that up here 20.5 all the way up to the upper bound here 25.5 okay i know it's just slightly less than 25.5 but 25.49 recurring if you like but for the purpose of mathematics here we're just going to use 25.5 and then underneath here I say that there are 62 values less than 20.5 and then there's a total of 62 plus 88 which is 150 values which are less than 25.5 now we're looking for the hundredth value so that is where the median Q2 is going to be. So it's going to be somewhere over here, say. OK, so we'll just put that there. That's Q2, and we're looking for the hundredth value. And what I do here is that I set up what I call a ratio equation. I'm going to compare this width across here. We'll just do it with a dotted line across here. That's Q2 minus 20.5 will give us that width. I'm going to compare that to the width across here, 100 minus 62. And that proportion, that ratio, if you like, is going to be exactly the same as comparing this width across here, which is 25.5 minus 20.5, to the equivalent width below here, from 62 all the way up to 150. That will be 150 minus 62. So if we write down that equation, we've got Q2 minus 20.5. So that's that green dotted width. Compare that width to the width below, which would be 100 minus 62. And then that's equal to, it's in the same proportion, same ratio as comparing this dotted blue width, that's 25. 0.5 minus 20.5 to the solid blue width below 150 minus 62. It's as simple as that. And all you've got to do is just rearrange this equation to make Q2 the subject.
You can work out these values, okay? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rearrange it. I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 minus 62. That will leave me with Q2 minus 20.5 on the left, and then I'm going to add 20.5. So what we get is Q2 equals this fraction here, 25.5 minus 20.5 divided by 150 minus 62. All of this fraction is multiplied then by 100 minus 62 value here and then we add the 20.5 all right and if you work this out you end up with 22.659 and so on and if we round this to three significant figures you're going to get 22.7 to 3 sf three significant figures all right